Calgary. At first glance, the prehistoric rodent-like creature now known as Catops alaskaka might seem like little more than an ancient squirrel. But the new species, discovered in southern Alberta, is forcing researchers to rethink long-held beliefs about how evolution usually progresses. Jessica Theater of the University of Calgary was part of a team that discovered Catops alaskaka, a prehistoric squirrel-like creature that appears to have bucked evolutionary trends. The fossil was found in 2017 in southwestern Alberta, Riley Brand, University of Calgary. We haven't got the smoking gun, said Jessica Theater, a professor at the University of Calgary and member of the group that discovered C. Kaka. For this particular group of species, it's pretty messy and difficult because many of them are only known from teeth, teeth belonging to C. Kaka were discovered last year in the Porcupine Hills area of southwestern Alberta. It gets its name from the Cree word for porcupine, said Theodore. The species is part of one of the longest surviving lineages in the fossil record, continuing for about 165 million years. The group of more than 200 known species even managed to survive the mass extinction that killed the dinosaurs. Though they existed long before rodents, they're very similar in a lot of ways, said Theodore. Article continued below, if you look at a picture of it, any five-year-old would say, squirrel, they look a lot like rodents, said Theodore. If you put fur on one it would probably be hard to tell at first glance, read more, Alberta Dinosaur Museum takes you straight to the fossil fields to unlock, discovery could unlock treatment for Zika virus, Alberta researcher Sari Design of Alberta driver's license features a dinosaur, and saves taxpayer money, the differences are subtle, see. Kaka has different teeth and likely reproduced more like marsupials, such as kangaroos, than modern mammals. Species in the line ranged from smaller than a mouse to roughly the size of a woodchuck. Before C. Kaka was discovered in 2017, researchers believed species in the lineage were evolving to be larger as time went on. Article continued below the idea matches a common consensus in the field, all other things being equal, mammals typically evolve to be larger over time. Bigger specimens tend to have a better chance at surviving and reproducing, since they're less vulnerable to predators and tend to be more energy efficient. Especially after the dinosaurs died, mammals generally evolved to be heftier, Theodore said. That didn't happen for C. Kaka. The species is relatively late in its lineage, but it's among the smallest of the bunch, bucking the overall trend. Fossilized teeth from C. Kakwa, a type of ancient mammal similar to a prehistoric squirrel. The newly discovered species was found in southwestern Alberta last year, courtesy Jessica Theater, University of Calgary, Theater and her fellow researchers, Craig Scott, the curator of fossil mammals at Alberta's Royal Tyrell Museum and Ann Weil of Oklahoma State University, haven't yet been able to explain it. Their early findings on the species' existence and what it may have looked like were published recently in the Journal of Paleontology. It just opens up a lot of questions for us, said Theodore. This lineage has a much more complicated history, clearly, is C. Kaka an outlier, the product of a random mutation that turned out to be useful, that can happen by chance. Theodore said. However, Theodore said most of the time, such evolutionary changes happen due to something shifting in the species' environment, the climate, predators or resource availability. So are there other small species from that time period that we just haven't found yet? Scott, at the Royal Tyrell Museum, is spending his summer out in the field to try and find more samples of C. Kaka and any other species, Theodore said. Though it's harder to find fossils from smaller species, the team is hoping to find more complete ones, perhaps a skull or a complete skeleton. Researchers are also working to figure out what caused the lineage to go extinct. Though the common theory is that the rise of rodents made it difficult for the group to survive, Theodore said that hasn't been definitively proven, it's kind of like the extreme cold case files, Emma McIntosh is an environment, justice and investigative reporter with Star Metro Calgary. Follow her on Twitter and at MMC.